Hey, what's up guys and welcome to the Muscle and Fitness Ultimate Sports Challenge with me, Rob Richards. Today, I'm in Venice, California at the Mecca bodybuilding gym that is Gold's Gym to meet with the guy who not only has the four-time all-natural Mr. Universe title, he's also an actor, had over 500 international fitness cover magazines, and today he's put me through the ultimate powerlifting circuit. Who else could I be talking about? Michael Hearn. Let's get inside and meet the man himself. Michael Hearn. Set beast. How you doing, man? <laughs> Unstoppable. <laughs> man, talk about making a guy feel self-conscious. I'm sorry, is it the green shirt that it's, did it? It's the color, it's the color green, yeah, yeah. mute, it's black. It's... Mm. Listen, man, thank you for inviting me and Muscle and Fitness down here to uh, put me through a powerlifting circuit routine. I guess a lot of people out there know you as Michael Hearn, the cover model, but there's a history behind that. The bodybuilder, the powerlifter, the model, I mean, you've started it all. What stage would you say you're in now? Uh, right now, I am a cross between powerlifting and bodybuilding. So you're like a hybrid body powerlifter. Nice. Yeah. I like where you're thinking. Okay, I see so you brought the whole family down. I brought the whole family. You got the dog. This is uh, my cardio buddy. You go running? Yeah, she, I, the way. She, she, she leads the way. I try to keep up with her. Oh, I want to talk about more about your workout routine okay. and cardio, but first, you're putting me through a powerlifting thing. I've done, I've been in the gym a, a few times here and there. Just, just a few, huh? Just a few, yeah. I've like, <laughs> played around with a few weights. What would you define as powerlifting as opposed to bodybuilding and just general working out? How does it differ? All right, well, bodybuilders come into the gym, the majority of them, and they're going for the pump, mm -hmm. you know, just to burn out the muscle, you know, drop sets, that kind of stuff. Right. Us powerlifters, what we do is we come in and, and we're trying to get that extra weight. You know, we're taking longer rest periods. Um, we're going for that deeper, denser muscle. Um, we're also working our uh, ligaments and joints and tendons. You know, we're trying to get as strong as we possibly can. But by doing that, and I learned this early on in my career, by, by trying to get as strong as I possibly could, remember, you only gain strength by building muscle. True. So I'm just gonna get bigger and stronger. Powerlifting is three lifts, squat, bench, deadlift. So squat starts a meet. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a couple different squats, just kinda, I just wanna see how you squat, and then if there's anything wrong with it, we'll correct it into a power squat, because there is a difference between a powerlifting squat, but looking for mass, just thickness and size, where uh, the majority of society today do not squat correctly. So we'll show you that, we'll see if you got it. You might already have it down, you might already have this down. Um, and then we'll go into some benching and some deadlifting. So let's start with the squat. I got the uh, the bar here ready for you just to kind of stretch out. I don't. I, I. This is how I do it. I don't stretch out. Stretch out. What I do is I stretch through the movement. Right. Yeah. Same here. Okay. okay good. good. So let's uh, let's jump you under here and rock and roll. Okay. Bodybuilders love to look at themselves. You are gonna face out. Okay. Now I'm just lost. Yeah, power lifters don't look. We gotta look off to nothing. And this, this is for protective reasons. Today we don't need that. We're going hardcore. Okay, so you just wanna see my form right now. Just wanna see your form, see what you got right now. Okay, that's pretty nice. That'll do much. So what we'll do is we're gonna put this bar a little lower on your back. Okay, it's gonna be a little up. uncomfortable. Actually, your elbows, your elbows will come underneath more. So it's almost, watch this, right there. Good, now stand up, put it right on the rear delt, good. Keep it up, good. Hips back now, get rid of the hips, even more so. Toes out slightly. Now sit back, don't go down. Sit back, down, and back up. Nice! Movement, back, not down. There. Explode. Nice. Explode. Good. Good depth. Down, in there, explode. A lot of tall guys. There, a lot, I get a lot of tall guys calling me up going, how'd you get legs? Because I'm a tall guy and I don't do legs. I do leg press all day, leg extensions, hack squats, and I'm like, 
What happened to you guys? So you would recommend that all of the fitness guys out there who have got awesome abs, chest, arms, legs, not so much. They tend to keep them covered up or even stay away from training yeah, them. I think squats is the one. Here's the myths that people go. Uh, if you squat, you get thick hips and waist. Not true. You're born with a genetic shape. Now you can develop it. But one of those things you don't do is you're not going to develop a thick hip and waist by doing squats. Two, two, five. Two, two, five. Well, I'm going to go off of something that I believe in. I believe in raw lifting. So we'll take it from that angle because that's what you're doing right now. Basically, raw lifting means I don't wear a suit, I don't wear a belt, I don't wear knee wraps. I just come in and I squat. Now, how much do you weigh? Like 180. 180. Okay, so for a good squat in a meet, top, top, elite, 600. Okay. Is that with straps? Anything? Nope. That's uh, raw. Okay. Because my biggest ever lift was 550. Like, probably shocking form, straps, and I had a little assistance. But I can just tell you that, that, I was seeing stars after yeah. that. I mean, that, that is not something I'd recommend trying. Always 550 is a good lift. lift. It was good, but if I was to lift like this without anything, you know, I'd probably be four max. Well, we'll see you today. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you today. We'll see what he's got. Let's get your, we're gonna keep your strength here. So same again. Now, not like bodybuilding. We're not gonna go reps here. We're saving it. So just give me three reps. Explode and make it feel light on the back. Come on. Boom. Sit back. Sit back. Boom. Two. One more. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Down here. Nice. Walk it in. It's light. It's light. All right, baby. Three plates. Let's do this. True. What about rest time then? I know bodybuilders, fitness guys. First of all, I like how you, you split us and them and call me the bodybuilder and blatantly you're the guy that kind of ticks all three, but it's true, most of us stick to that. You know, do you know 90 second rest, go back in, allow the body to replenish somewhat. Powerlifters, that takes a lot longer to get that glycogen back into the muscle. How long would you rest for? This is how I do it. When I'm doing my basic lifts, the squat, the bench, the dead, there's no time. Because basically when I'm recovered, I go again. As long as it takes. As long as it takes. There's no rush here. Because the, again, when I train legs, you know, uh, you know, the guys are going, oh my legs are so pumped, they're so full of glycogen. That to me is not a good workout. Okay, if, if, if you come in the gym and think a pump is a good workout, I'm just gonna feed you pizza, some creatine, come in and superset your arms and tell you to leave after 20 minutes. What I believe is a good workout is when you're tearing down the fibers of the muscle. With weight. Okay, overload. with weight, with overload. Now, I'm cool with after this, we speed it up, like the secondary work. I always go faster on the leg press, the hack squat. But on this exercise, no reason to rush it. Okay. I want the heaviest possible weight you can do. And again, this is for anybody. This is girls, guys. You don't need to rush this. Take as long as you need it. Yeah. That take home message. And, and the girl's not going to get thick, huge legs from squatting. She's going to get a nice, rounded body. You hear that, girls? So don't run. Squat for that butt. Come on now. Come on. Pick it up strong. Nice. Drop down there. Sit back. Boom. One. Again, sit back. Head up. Two. One more. Sit back. Boom. Three. Nice. Walk it in. We don't have chalk because chalk would be a key point right now. Because uh, the bar will slide. Now, you're a fitness guy, so you got the tank top on. Now, when we lift, we usually have sweatshirts or anything like that because anything to hold the bar to you. Okay, so it does start sliding. Clothing is key. Yeah, clothing is key for me. Um, I uh, rarely wear tank tops or shorts, but that's just me. Uh, so I'm one of those guys that it, my art piece is to be hidden until revealed. And on this, I'm going to spot you. Set up, grab the bar strong, nice, pick it up strong, step back, get set, get set, take your time, take your time, drop it in, up, 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 walk it in, nice, 
That was nice. I've got to say, a lot of that doesn't come from muscle fatigue, it comes from restriction. Clothing. Yeah. Shorts being like too hitched up or too tight around the legs. And I think for the first time, I need to go back and start wearing like, gym pants. Loose, baggy, fitting ones that can just freely move. move around. I can get down low and not have to worry about anything kind of catching on my legs. Now we're getting places. This is good times now. Straight through. Let's do it now. Walk slow. Come on. Really? Sorry. Okay, sit back. Set up strong. Before you go, keep red. Now go. Up. <clears throat> nice. Deadlifts in, I take it. Deadlifts, uh, the man lift. Man lift. This is it, baby. There's uh, there's not much helping you here. This is straight power and grit. Okay. Main muscle groups work. I know this. I'm just for all of you guys and girls out there, just to give you Mike's knowledge. Deadlift. Why? How? What? Well, this is another one that you already know. This releases growth hormone. Growth hormone. The big, also, big this is. When you see those guys on stage with the big backs, that's where they're getting it, right here. But it's not from the lat pull downs, it's not from the pull ups, it's from the heavy deadlifts. Yeah, they're great for finishing off or adding a little bit more detailing to that mass, but if you want to get the size, you've got to overload with big heavy weights. Foundation. Foundation training. The majority of everybody runs away from, and, it's, and then I understand why. It's not an easy lift. Before you even lean down, I can already see. You're stepping in wide, wide stance. I want you to come in. Now bring up the legs all the way to the bar. Step to the bar all the way. Keep going. Now, I want you to reach down and get the bar, but I want you to kick the ass back. Put down three hands. Now, get up. Explode. Good. Go again. Nice. Touch. Up. Good. Sit back. Explode. Nice. And down. Again, maybe reprogrammed how I train. That that stance, that sit back, and up. I mean, for me, that's hips forwards. For you, that's hips forwards. Right. Okay, two plates. Same technique. Two plates, 225, hands over the top. What do you feel like? Dimensional or sumo? You know, I'm not too comfortable with this, like, this stance. You're not. I want to go wider. So, we're sumo today then. Okay, we're assuming sumo. So is that right? I'm kind of at this, uh, yep. this split. Yes. Good, a little bit wide. Step right to the bar. Good. Hands down, a little wider grip. All right, head up, explode. Oh, nice. Sit down, sit down. Explode. There you go, there you go. Good power. Right off. Boom. Good. Rip it off the floor. Two more. Boom. Down. Relax. Kind of blows that whole tempo of that 2 2 1 or 2 on 3 right out of the water. Alright, so. Is that creatine? Is that yes, your, creatine. Is that special mix? <laughs> no power lifter should be without this. This is chalk. Now, when we start getting heavier, that is going to give you a grip. And that's what we use instead of straps. Okay, so grab a little bit of that. Chalk them hands up. You always see them do that in a little, uh, there we go. Now we're, now we're doing, making a mess. Now we feel like we're at Gold Gym Venice. All right, now this one, I do want you to reverse the grip. Now it's really on what you like. But basically the bar is gonna roll the heavier yep. you get. Yep. So by reversing the grip, one side or the other, Makes you're sense. locking it in. Right hand forward, sir. Okay. All right, take a step. Nice. Push down, push grip, sit back, head up, explode. Up. Nice, explode. Boom. Take your time, take your time. Down, set, sit back, go. Boom. One more. Down, sit. Use the hips, use the hips. Explode. Boom. Down, relax. All right, all right, so here is a little key. 
As we're getting heavier and heavier, you can't muscle it as much. <laughs> I'm finding that out, okay. So one of the first movements you would think is to pull it from your upper body. Uh -huh. Leave that alone. The first thing is that hip. Hip's got to fire. You got to sit back, take your time. A conventional deadlift, when you're deadlifting here, comes fast off the floor and slows as you get over the knee. Now this is reverse. This comes off the ground slow, but you finish strong. Just kind of how the two lifts are different. So don't panic if it doesn't come off the floor when you first start to... It's sort of like leverages, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, because what you're doing Lengthen. is... I notice that you lean forward a little bit. I'm used to doing it that way, yeah. If and when I, I do it, so... And that's just panicking. Don't panic. Just keep it calm, pull, and then it will rise. Just relax. Yeah. Should we add some more? Yeah, I think we should. I think we should. What is when you go for meat and I'm not talking about I'm not talking about the food that you eat here, I mean like the meat ups rather and you, you kind of put your best in. What well, important is it that you wear? Here, here's one of those things. I got sneakers on and I'm the shoes that you're wearing right now uh, look like cross trainer shoes. You wear those for jogging and yeah? Or do you use that for everything? <laughs> everything. Alright, see. I'm more of a high top guy when I'm doing squats and when I do deadlifts, I usually wear something like an old school Converse, something flat. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All the way down to where you can just use uh, barefoot on deadlifts. Like more pin shoulders kind of thing. Yeah. You know, soft yeah. up, flat so That makes sense because I'm feeling my feet are pushing out. Yep. And if you do like a uh, leg press or so on, it's all about here where the toe is, is, is kind of pushing through. Waking through, yeah. Today, it's gritty, it's old school, but I would just pull off the shoes. Socks. Socks it. On this lift. Socks on this lift. This will be it. Okay. Yeah, 100%. This is it, this is it, this is why you came today, baby. Time to play, come on. Get a good grip. Nice. Down there, come on. Lift. Head up, head up, take your time, take your time. Nice, nice. Go again. Down, hold. Explode. Pull it. Come on, come on, come on. One more, let's go. Down, hold. Ready? Sit back. Go. Pull. Pull. Nice. Down. Yeah, that's that's helps you. <laughs> that makes sense. That's, that's easy. That's basic. Feel good with that. That's the thing. You just came in today. It's the first time you really doing that form, that technique. I'll tell you, man, you got great form. You got great form just coming right off. You didn't come off the street, but powerlifting is not like most people think. It's not people just walk up and deadlift. There's a little trick to it. And you learned it. And you picked it up quick. Sitting back, legs, hands, exploding with the hips, not your upper body. You picked it up quick. That was great. It takes time. That means a lot coming from you. This, uh, whether I'm going to get into deadlift squats and you know, the bench, how we're going to move on to next, and incorporate that into my regular routine, I just don't know. Maybe every now and again I'll step back and kind of focus a little bit more on this. But certainly the, the techniques and if and when I do, it's definitely going to be that, that stance, the closeness, the hips back, and that, that explosive, almost ballistic power move. Everything you got right now, before you go down, before you go down, head up. Same thing as before. It's all mental. It's not the weight. It's not the weight. Because you already done three with 405, so I guarantee you got this. Now just make it look easy. Make it look easy also for camera. Play with this. You're a warrior, baby. You're a warrior. Come on. Come on. Get up. Sit back. Sit back. Explode out the wall. Go, go, go. Bench press. Yes. There we go. Kind of. There we go. Kind of. We're gonna do it in the power rack today. Power rack, yeah. 
Okay. Uh, why, why the uh, change up? Well, because there's going to be more movement on this. Okay. Now, bodybuilders or fitness guys, you, they lift elbows out. Yes. So if you're looking down on them, you're benching like this. Yep. Looks familiar. A bench press for a power lifter is turned in. They suck and bend that bar and pull it in. Chest now, see, one of the points is, and here's one of those things where you, you hear about these guys tearing their pecs. A lot of bodybuilders tear their pecs. It's because you're putting so much pressure out here, and that's where you hurt the shoulder. You're just here. Yeah, here. and you stretch There's out. nothing. There's nothing protecting. And what we do is we pull that bar. It's, it's almost a collapse. And we pull it down into it. So if you're watching from here, instead of just uh, bringing it down, so you guys bench, right? Yep. What we do? Right there. Boom. And then explode up. Uh, what does that do for around the elbow? Boom. Joints? Everything. Everything's stronger. You're almost creating this rubber band, this, this, this power. And it explodes. Boom. Make sure to grab a hold of it, too. Yeah. That is how I would do it. That's how you do it. Now, oh, in. now the difference is, now I just want you to kind of pull it in, bring it down, lower chest, arch the back, right here, explode back up to here. Boom. Easy enough, let's do it. Now, same kind of grip, positioning. Yep. Hands, which for me there is. You go. There you go. That. Use your thumbs. Nice. Thumbs around. There you go. Pull it down. Let it come in. Explode out. Boom. Again, pull it in. Explode out. Boom. Feet flat. Push with your legs. Pull it down. Up. Again. Explode. Boom. Pull it in. Elbows go out now. Boom. Let them go. Boom. You're gonna see a lot of guys. Uh, a lot of guys go shoulder bench. They're like this. Seen it? And you're Seen like, it. what are you doing? You, you got these massive front delts. But work the chest. Work the chest. There. Work the chest when you're training chest. It, is back this a case of, for me now, one step back, two steps forwards in terms of weight? Because I can tell you what I lift like that. I've got a feeling. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight it. I'm just saying, realistically, I've got a feeling that we put that same weight on. I go in like that. It's going to be tougher. It's going to be tough. I think you're going to be surprised. All right. I think you're going to be surprised. Some more weight, we'll find out. Yeah, let's see it. Okay. I'm going to give you a little lift, so I don't want you to waste the energy back here. Okay. Okay, arch the back, feet flat, good, good. Let me hand this to you. Deep breath, suck it in. Down, hold tight, 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 explode up, boom. Again, down tight, boom. One more, down, hold, explode, boom. Legs. Legs, legs, legs. I'm feeling it there. Push. Yep. It's one yeah, of my whole body started to lift up and I got that weight back up. All right, big weight now. Yep. Big weight, 275, 185. Let's do this. Get a good grip, grab a hold. Remember, you're bending that bar. Beast mode. Come on. Take your time, take your time. Down slow, elbows in, explode up. Nice, go again. Elbows in, elbows in, don't shorten it, go. Good. So in the elbows. So another thing is, when you're, when you're doing it, I notice that you're gonna fatigue when you got nothing happening. When you pull those elbows in, you actually got momentum coming up and then letting it drift back, and your elbows come out. That's Boom. true. Like creating that uh, 
elastic response. Oh, that spring loaded. There you in go. And then. You're a rubber band. Finish it out. Rubber band. All right. I think. Uh, I think that's your max today. I think that was good. Yeah. Did some assistant work there okay. at the very end there. And again, man, if these guys, are, they're going to like the page so much, so you're going to have to come back now. You're going to oh, have to we, get ready. We've got to leave a little bit back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, don't want to, we don't want to scare them. All right, well, Mike, on that, on that note, these were the three kind of big powerlifting moves. Foundation. Came down here with a ch challenge in mind, and that was to basically see if a fitness guy like myself, or anyone who just kind of plays around in the gym for the purpose of, let's be honest, looking good naked, which is why we all, <laughs> why we all start off with it. Um, and it on, this is like the eighth challenge now, so this is definitely one of my favorites. It's my favorite place, one of my favorite guys, and you know we've known each other for a few years, now, five years now, coming on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you to grade me on these five areas. And uh, I wanna start on, Probably the most prolific one to powerlifting, which is power. You know, out of 10, how did I do? 10 being like, you know, pro level and zero being nah. I would say the first day in, uh, I would have to be honest with you and say you're right around a 7 8. You did great on power. Okay. You know, and I tell you, I shocked because with a 12 week program, you could be at the elite level. You could do it with those likes. So, right, so that's good. I'll let you round up. Let's round up. Okay. Should we go with an eight? Okay, we'll go with an eight. Okay, power. Let's uh, let's move on and focus now on uh, strength. Strength. We've got power, strength, slight difference with those two. Again, it's a key kind of component of powerlifting. How would you uh, break me on that? Um, the, the speed, and the speed and the power and the strength mm -hmm. is all kind of combined here. Okay. And I would say, I would say with everything there, you're at an eight. Okay, that, yeah. that's good. We're, yeah. we're kind of on that part there. Normally now we have a look at something like stamina or endurance. I want to touch upon stamina because you know you, you do have to have some form of muscular endurance, stamina to be able to continue going at that intensity for that length of time. No, I hear you. So how would you incorporate stamina into uh, powerlifting? The stamina you did great, because powerlifting is not one of those things where you're normally a stamina that comes into play. It's a longer day, you get a lot of rest. But today we busted three lifts out, and we pushed you to the max. I feel and you good about did it. great. Good. You did great. So uh, stamina, I would say you're a 10. Awesome, okay, yeah. we've got a 10 there. Without your you know, stamina for 10 power lifter, yeah, okay, okay. It's one of the it's one of the lesser areas, but it's still a ten. Um, you know, two others, but I'm gonna let you have these because normally that might be um, speed. I know that does come in. We might have like artistic flair if it's more of the Cirque to Slay shows that we've done. So, with you being the powerlifter, but also the gym guy, the cover guy, the martial artist guy, the actor, the the list goes on. And you really are a, a, a super man. Aren't you? I would uh, I would say it's something else. Something that you didn't say. What is that? And that is that switch. Okay. No, and no, I see and what I, I mean by that. a switch is that if you look around the gym, you see a lot of guys working out. Yeah. And, and a power lifter does not work out. There is a switch. When he comes in, he knows he's stepping under something that could hurt a normal man. And you need that switch. You need that beast inside of you. And that's what I would say. Did you have a beast? Did you come in here and go, okay, I'll man up. I'll step under, I'll, I'll pull the 450 today at 180 pounds. And I gotta say, man, you did. You did, you came in and you, you had a little beast inside you, which was nice. It was nice to see, you know, not just a fitness guy, but you're willing to get in the mix of it. You're willing to throw down, and I, I like that. And I, that's an easy eight for you. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, well, that was the whole point of this exercise, this entire series, is to see, and a fitness guy with you know pretty good stamina, power, strength, really tap into the world of these other like elite sports. And does he have the endurance for MMA? Does he have the speed to go up against a sprinter? Does he have that that determination and power to be able to get under you know weights that most people wouldn't even touch when they work out? So okay, we got what do we got? Three eights and a ten. Yep. What would you say for that fifth area? We need a fifth kind of factor that we can uh, we can gauge and score. What would that be, Mike? Hmm, that's a tough one. Because speed, power, and strength, you got the beast mode, and uh, your form. Um, your form was a 10. Yeah. Your form was a 10. Yeah, I'm going to take that one you then. You came in and, and, just, and you killed it. 
we, 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 that, that would be technique for somebody else, like an MMA fighter would say technique. Right, right. Uh, how was your grappling skills or your sprint style? And today was your technique, and your technique was a 10. Awesome. You picked it up. Awesome. That, and you're right, because you can be strong without having good form. Yeah. And if, yeah, if you're going to match those two together, that's a risk of injury. That's 100%. Awesome. Well, I think all together, go. that's what's two tens, three eights. That's, that's one of the best scores here. Yeah. Um, I've had a blast. It's it's really opened up my eyes to uh, looking outside of what I would normally do. I love the gym. I'm sure, I'm, I know you do, and a lot of people who watch this, they love getting into the gym. They love working out. But actually, keep my eyes open, seeing what the other people are doing, especially the bigger guys, and thinking. How are they able to do that? What are they doing that I'm not doing? And uh, I said this a while back. I should have come up to you when I saw you front squat on those plates. And said, hey Mike, how are you so freaking strong? And you probably could have told me three years ago that I need to do this, this and that, and I could have been who knows where. But, um, but you did it now, and, you, and you're teaching the world about it, and this is great. Thanks for making me part of this. Mike, thank appreciate you for, uh, it. Much down. love. You are inspiration to many, and uh, on that note, I know some people out there, some people in the, the tiniest corners of the world might be looking at this guy and going, I've seen him before. Who's this guy? Where can people go to find out more about who you are, what you do, what you've done, and just basically keep on track with your, your progress? Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Mike O'Hearn. Mm -hmm. um, Twitter, or check out my website, MikeOhern.com. Right. Guys, go and do that. I'll be back next month with another Muscle & Fitness Special looking into the world of another specialized sport to really see if I have what it takes and you two to be able to step in and just see how good your body really is. I'll see you guys then. Take care.